It was a simple beginning, really. Forging iron on the Pigeon River, which created farm tools that produced apples. Add in some cowboys, pirates, we join the crew of my favorite. lumberjacks, and hillbillies. And you just might have the recipe for some serious fun <laughs> or conflict. Welcome to Pigeon Farm. Come on, You know, sometimes life can really knock us down. <laughs> the negative news, the political fighting back and forth, juggling the demands of daily living. <laughs> Why, it's enough to make you a little crazy. <laughs> so, if you've been on that downward trend, you might just need some love. <laughs> a little humor and adventure, Pigeon Forge style. Perhaps that can give you the motivation to climb right back up, to get back in the fight, to allow your spirit to soar. In this, the third of our five video series of the Smokies, we continue our helicopter tour. In collaboration with YouTube Smoky Mountain family, we'll explore Dollywood and show the new Big Bear Mountain coaster. <laughs> Parrot Mountain and Gardens, tubing at Smoky Mountain Snow Park and Pigeon Forge Snow take you to the island where the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel is at. Watch Bob and Eli with YouTube Smokies Plus ride the mountain monster and show the rest of the mountain mile with dinner at Guy Fieri's downtown Flavor Town. See the Three Bears General Store where Bella and I will go back in time to the late 1800s. Tour the Old Mill District. Show seven different go-kart tracks including NASCAR Park ride three mountain coasters, see some goats on the roof. We'll take you inside Dolly Parton Stampede, the Comedy Barn, Pirate's Voyage, Paula Deen's Lumberjack Feud Supper Show, and the Hatfield and McCoy Dinner Feud. Or how about some coal-fired pizza with craft beer and axe throwing, the Apple Barn and Cider Mill, Skyland Ranch, downtown Sevierville, see an amazing cabin, as well as three RV parks. So come with us. Oh, come on now. We're sure to have a show now. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Did you see that lady? Come on, boss. There's so much to show you. Parkway between Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, just a gorgeous drive. But what you don't see from the ground is a spectacular view from the air. As we continue with scenic helicopter tours heading towards Pigeon Forge, you can see the line through the forest of Parkway. We fly over some of the areas we will show you from the ground. Dollywood, you can see the growing Wildwood Grove section of the park. Also, the new Dollywood's Heart Song Resort, expected to open November of 2023. It will feature a large four-story atrium lobby, over 300 rooms, many with balconies. Just across from Dollywood's Splash Country is the Dream More Resort, with indoor and outdoor pools, very highly rated. Splash country with slides, pools, a lazy river, themed to Dolly Parton's childhood, swimming in the rivers of the Smokies. In the distance, the island. And across from that, the Mountain Mile, another amusement dining area that we'll take a look at from the ground. Now in Sevierville, below NASCAR Park. Also, Soaky Mountain Water Park. Scenic helicopter tours with trips from $20 to $500 per person. I did the National Park Tour. This is a $250 tour. Friendly staff, well worth it. I hope you enjoy your stay over here at the Smokies. And if you'd like to see them from the skies, you can join us here at Scenic Helicopter Tours. Being we are on the north end of the Strip, gonna head up to a cabin to show you. Then we'll begin the tour of Pigeon Forge from the south end of the Strip. The Electric Forest Cabin and Teepee in Sevierville. 
is about a 15 minute drive from the Hatfield and McCoy Dinner Show. It's far enough to really be in the country, yet an easy scenic drive to the Strip. This fully furnished pet friendly cabin gives you all the comforts of home, including washer and dryer, really good fast Wi-Fi. It sleeps 10 with seven beds and three bedrooms. Four of those beds are in a teepee that sits in a forest down the steps behind the cabin. It is complete with Indian headdresses and percussion instruments. A fire pit in front of the teepee. At nighttime, the forest lights up. That's the name, Electric Forest. The cabin itself, very comfortable, has a really nice hot tub with a big screen projector, fireplace, and board games. We now head back to the south end of the Pigeon Forge Strip via Goose Gap Road. Parkway can get pretty crowded, so this can be a quicker, more scenic way to avoid the traffic on the strip. But be aware, this road is narrow and no shoulder with ditches on the side of the road. So you better pay attention while driving. Now on the south end of the strip, looking back, Gatlinburg is just over the hills. We head north and arrive at the original dinner show, Dolly Parton's Stampede. You can see the horses in the stables as you walk up to the theater. This show has the most animals of any show, as well as many horses. You'll see bulls, buffaloes, miniature horses, birds, and pigs. You watch a historical, theatrical, fun competition of North versus South. With acrobatic feats, song and dance, and humor. What all these fine folks came out here to see, is that right, everybody? Mixed in with emotional cinematic performances. <laughs> While being served a four course meal with rotisserie chicken, pork loin, and a hot flaky apple turnover was delicious. Vegetarian and gluten free meals also available. Prices will vary on time of year. In the end, North and South unite with a heartwarming patriotic tribute. Because we are the United States of America. After the show, many of the writers available to talk to. The, the energy from the crowd, you know, the kids at the beginning, we face paint and things like that. And it's just such a great atmosphere here. Under a mile from the stampede is really one of the better KOAs for you RVers and campers. Large spaces with full hookups to fit up to 100 feet, and many of these with a nice patio and fire pit area. Even if you don't have an RV, there's a variety of cabins and many pet friendly. Nice outdoor camping kitchen areas with a sink and an electric grill and burners. While Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg are generally dog friendly, there is a lack of decent pet friendly hotels, so this could be a great option. Location is excellent, close to Dollywood and walking distance to the old mill district. It was here that Isaac Love built an iron forge where a trip hammer, powered by the Little Pigeon River, helped to forge metals, thus the name Pigeon Forge. In 1830, his son built the old mill. And about 100 years later, when the Great Smoky Mountain National Park was established, Pigeon Forge became a tourist town. Today, metals are still being forged at the Iron Mountain Metal Craft, which you can view or learn how to forge metal yourself. The Old Mill Restaurant is here, known for its home-cooked favorites. Like chicken and dumplings, I'm having a veggie omelet, which comes with muffins and some really exceptional tasting biscuits, which you can watch being made. While the passenger pigeon that the Pigeon River was named after is extinct, you will see plenty of geese, ducks, and pigeons at Patriot Park next to the Old Mill Restaurant. Bring some quarters and you can purchase food for the ducks and geese and they'll come right up to you. Across the street, another really good restaurant, the Pottery House Cafe, with an outdoor shaded patio. Next door, the Pigeon River Pottery, where you can watch the pottery being made from noon to 5 p.m or purchase some Appalachian style pottery. How about a candied apple or nutter butters or other sweets from the candy kitchen where you can also see it being made. There's tastings of flavored spirits at the Old Forge Distillery in an old farm feed store. The Mill Bridge Winery with tastings of wine and cider with a patio overlooking the Little Pigeon River.
In 1961, the Rebel Railroad opened, Pigeon Forge's first tourist attraction. Fifteen years later would become Silver Dollar City, and in 1986 would become Dollywood. Today, Dollywood is rated the number one theme park in the U.S. by TripAdvisor. With more than 50 rides, high energy entertainment, and great food nestled in the foothills of the Smokies. It is $89 for ages 10 to 61, $79 for children and seniors. You can add on a Splash Country Water Park ticket for $10, but just not enough time to do both parks in one day. So it's best to do the two-day two-park ticket for $119, or even better yet, a three-day two-park ticket for just $10 more. That way you aren't in such a rush. While only service dogs are allowed in the park, they do have a really good kennel, Doggy Wood, located right at the front gates. They are $25 for a kennel or $35 for a cottage. To save the walking, there are electric convenience vehicles available to rent for $55 or $70 for a shaded ECV. I'd recommend doing the train at the beginning because it lets you tour a little of the park without walking and then from there you can plan where you want to go. While the line might look long, don't worry because the train takes a whole lot of passengers each trip. Try some of Dollywood's famous cinnamon bread at the grist mill mixed with brown sugar, buttercream icing, or apple butter. This grist mill was the first fully operational grist mill built in Tennessee in more than a hundred years. Dollywood has nine roller coasters, including the new Big Bear Mountain Coaster, the longest coaster here. Nearly two minutes takes riders on an expedition in search of Big Bear. One of the most popular is the Mystery Mine, a steel coaster that travels through an abandoned coal mine with a 95 degree, 85 foot vertical drop. The drop line lifts guests 20 stories high for a view of the Smokies, then drops. The river rampage simulates Smoky Mountain whitewater rafting with dips, twists, and turns. Riding with Eric, Keegan, and JC of the Smoky Mountain family. Very kind of Mama Bear, Brittany holding Bella so that I could ride. A couple of miles east of Dollywood is Parrot Mountain and Gardens, home to hundreds of tropical birds and a variety of plants, flowers, and trees. It is $28 for adults, $15 for children 2 through 10, $25 for seniors. This footage from the Smoky Mountain Families video here, which gives a detailed review of Parrot Mountain. Now back on Parkway, just a quarter of a mile north of the Old Mill District is the Fun Stop Family Action Park with a slingshot where guests soar 120 feet or the skyscraper goes 150 feet in the air. They are $25 per ride. Go-karts are $12 per ride. And there's the Big Top Arcade. Next door is the Fantasy Mini Golf with two 18-hole courses. Another quarter mile up the strip on the other side of Parkway is Extreme Racing. $30 for two races or $50 for a five-race package. Next to that, the Lost Treasure Golf. One of the more elaborate mini golfs with waterfalls and a mining train that takes you to the first hole. It is $17.50 for adults, $13 for children 5 through 12. Across the street is Adventure Raceway with a three-story wooden elevated track. They also have bumper boats. In another half mile up Parkway, next to the Three Bears General Store, is Fast Tracks with three different go-kart tracks, including an elevated track that circles upward three levels, then descends downward. There's also carnival games, an arcade, and thrill rides. The skyscraper ride climbs 140 feet into the air, makes you feel what it's like to pull four Gs in a jet. If you combine fast tracks with all the activities at the Three Bears General Store next door, you could really have a whole day of fun. Watch out for the hot benches though. There's the Pigeon Forge Gem Mine, a large covered flume area, one of the best gem mines you will find. 
Buckets start at $35 and can go all the way up to $1,500. Our $1,500 bucket generally takes two to four hours to go through for a group, uh, for a set of two people to go through. It looks like an eyeball. It doesn't take long before Keegan and JC find some colorful stones. Once you mine your gems, you take them to be analyzed and valued. You can also have your gemstones cut and polished and made into jewelry. There's a little display area where you can see all the varieties of gems. This mine was originally part of the Delosier family farm from 1881. In fact, let's go upstairs to the old time photo and take a trip back to the 1880s. He was known as Poodle Cowboy. Yeah, doesn't sound intimidating. You didn't want to mess with him. People knew if you messed with his poodle, there would be trouble to pay. We have five scenes to choose from. We have the Roaring Twenties, which is Bonnie and Clyde Al Capone. There's a 1920s Mercedes at a Texaco gas station, a wooden porch with rockers, swinging saloon doors, a bar, and an old time piano. They will set you up with the props and clothing of all sizes for adults, kids, and even dogs from long Victorian dresses to vintage tuxedos and top hats. This is one of the better old time photos as they have won awards in Vegas. Three Bears also have ice cream, milkshakes, and gelato, as well as homemade candy. All of our fudge is made in-house every day. It's made right back here every morning. I think we're up to 28 flavors. Oh my gosh, look at this peanut butter pie though. And in their bear habitat, you can see bears that were rescued from a kill farm. From one side of this place to the other, it's almost like you could walk the entirety of the Gatlinburg Strip. That's what you can find in here. Fudge, Absolutely. ice cream, food, arcade, the VR experience, which was a ton of fun. Billy really whooped me in it, but uh, come visit the largest gift shop at the Smokies. There it is. Next to Three Bears is the Rockin' Raceway and Arcade. The go-kart track is $12 if you purchase online. The arcade uses play cards, which you can also get a discount if you book online. Next to Rock and Raceway, look for the Big Rooster, and you'll find one of the highest rated breakfast restaurants in Pigeon Forge, Sawyer's Farmhouse. I'm having the veggie omelet and gluten-free pancakes. Billy's having a chicken fajita omelet, and Eric is having the sausage and biscuits and the hash browns. Here's two times. It's like a, they're like a ninja. You're like, let's do it. Just two tenths of a mile from the Three Bears is the Comedy Barn. It is close to the island, which you can see in the background there. While this is not a dinner theater, you can purchase food here. Because of that, it will be about $30 cheaper than the dinner shows. There's comedians, jugglers, ventriloquists, and animals. This comedian really good. Most of it not scripted, just spontaneous, quick-witted humor. Are you with that guy? Are you playing off the audience. Just his mannerisms had me laughing. Some incredible talent. The singer sounded just like Dolly. Incredible dancing. Mixed in with a combination of country and gospel music. The actors going out into the audience during the intermission. And even teasing Eric during the show. I think we're all a little curious. <laughs> Which was your favorite moonshine in the tasting earlier? You won't regret going to the Comedy Barn. Well worth it. You guys had fun? Yeah! Next to the Comedy Barn is the Alcatraz East Crime Museum, which gives a behind the scenes look at crime history in America with over 100 interactive exhibits. It is $29 for adults, $15 for children 8 through 12. And across the street is the Laserport Fun Center with laser tag, a black light mini golf, and a go-kart track. Behind the Comedy Barn is The Island, Pigeon Forge's largest shopping, dining, amusement area. Kind of like Broadway at the Beach in Myrtle Beach or Disney Springs. It is situated around a colorful large water fountain with plenty of rocking chairs around it. The Great Smoky Mountain Observation Wheel is here, a 200 foot tall Ferris wheel with sweeping views of the Smokies. It's $17 for adults, $12 for children. Other rides are the 7D Dark Ride Adventure, Gatlin's Bumper Cars, a Mirror Maze, a Shooting Gallery, Escape Games, a Carousel, a Drop Tower. You can purchase an unlimited wristband for all the outdoor rides, $40 without the ropes course or $49 with the ropes course. 
There's also the Skyfly Soar America, where guests experience the feeling of flight. In Arcade City, which uses play cards that you can buy online at a discount. There's the old Smoky Moonshine Bar with tastings, and a stage featuring live bluegrass music. For dining, there's a Paula Deans here. Also, the Finn's Bar and Grill at the Margaritaville Resort, with seating overlooking the Pigeon River. As well as the 5 o'clock Somewhere Bar. There are trams that will take you from the large parking lot that you access from Teaster Lane. That will save you a little bit of walking. Hello, me fine buckos. Join Blackbird and his quartermaster Calico Jack, along with the Crimson and Sapphire crews. We'll be joining the crew of my favorite. On the Pirate's Voyage, which features mermaids, tropical birds, salty the sea lion, in an epic pirate battle with stunts and acrobatics on the deck in the water and above a full-size pirate ship in a deep indoor hideaway lagoon while you enjoy a hearty four-course meal including pan-fried chicken, sugar-cured ham, corn, biscuit and dessert gluten-free and vegetarian options available this has, I think, the best pyrotechnics of all the dinner shows. Just an amazing sound and light show. Mixed in with music and dance. At the corner of Parkway in Weirs Valley Road is Pink Jeep Tours with several trips that range from $80 to $90 for a two and a half to three hour tour. On the other side of Weirs Valley Road is The Track with the Wild Woody, a three and a half story go-kart track and three additional tracks for a variety of ages. There's blaster boats, bumper cars, a mini golf and a carousel and the Fat Daddy Arcade. We'll come back to Weirs Valley Road in a bit. But let's jump just across from the island to the Mountain Mile, where we find Bob and Eli with YouTube Smokies Plus, just about ready to take the plunge on the Mountain Monster. It is $40. There's also the Monster Drop that you can ride for $15. While we wait for our table at downtown Flavortown, there's some cornhole on the turf. Nice shot, Eric. Also a train for little kids that runs around the turf. There's also a Curhi winery, a tea shop, and coming soon, the Azul Cantina rooftop, a Tex-Mex restaurant. Downtown Flavortown is a Guy Fieri restaurant. They also have a bowling alley, a large arcade, and a freaky tiki lounge. You find some very creative, unusual dishes with things you would have never thought would go together, but taste amazingly great. Like Eli is having the Nashville hot chicken waffle. I'm trying the Brussels and bacon, Brussels sprouts and applewood bacon. Good food, good company. Smokies Plus, Tampa Aerial Media, and Smoky Mountain Family. Across the street from downtown Flavortown is Pigeon Forge Snow. This is a year-round indoor snow park. But here, despite having real snow, it's a comfortable 60 to 70 degrees. I'm tubing here with JJ from Georgia. Oh yeah! It is $30 for an hour of tubing. There's also a snow play area and a balcony with snacks overlooking the slides. We now go back to Wears Valley Road two and a half miles west of Parkway to Goats on the Roof. This is a combo mountain coaster, goat petting zoo, gym mine, and sweet shop. This concept comes from a Swedish restaurant in Wisconsin who would let the goats graze on their sodded roof to attract the crowds and has worked very well for Goats on the Roof. The buckets for the gem mine are $15 to $25. They are also building a mini golf, partly being designed by the guy that we will zip line with in the next video at Smoky Mountain Zip Lines. This coaster is nearly a mile in length, reaches speeds of 30 miles per hour, lasts for seven minutes. And at nighttime, it really lights up. 
It is $12 per person to ride. There's a couple of RV parks in this area. Next to Goats on the Roof is Brookside RV Resort. They have both monthly and overnight rentals available, but seem to be geared more for the long-term stays, not much on amenities. But another half mile down the road is Pigeon Forge RV Resort, which has a much nicer pool area with a water slide, better amenities, a camp store with pizza, burgers, hot dogs, and supplies. Lots of pull-through sites, and also sites along Walden's Creek, a really good website for booking as well. Another half mile down the road, now just a mile and a half from Parkway, is the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. This was the first mountain coaster in the Smokies. This, along with the Rocky Top Mountain Coaster, are the two longest coasters in Tennessee. Second longest in the U.S., just over a mile long. It takes seven to eight minutes. It is $18 for adults and $14 for children, seven through 12. I'd recommend to do both in the day and night because it's a whole different experience at night. The Rocky Top Mountain Coaster is on Veterans Boulevard, about a mile east of Parkway. It is slightly longer than the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster by 100 feet at 5,500 feet long. It takes 9 to 10 minutes. Certainly has some of the best props and scenery of all the mountain coasters. Also has four tunnels you go through. It is the same price as the Alpine Coaster, $18 for adults and $14 for children, 7 through 12. These are scenes from the Smoky Mountain Families video here during Halloween, which you have to check out. Now back on Parkway, just north of Wears Valley Road, is the Paula Deen's Lumberjack View, which was just recently upgraded to a supper show. Along with the show, there is an adventure park here that includes the Flying Ox Zipline Coaster, a ropes course, a 80-foot freefall jump, and logger sports, where you compete in a log row, boom run, and speed climb. The show is $50 for adults and $20 for children, 4 to 11. With the adventure park, it is $65 for adults, $45 for children. You get a barbecue sandwich, coleslaw, baked beans, and a cookie with the supper. The show is a high energy competition between the Dawson and McGraw families. With a lot of humor and fun. He smelled funny, he the man's heart. <laughs> With incredible feats of strength and balance. After you watch the Lumberjack show, you might want to throw some axes yourself. You can do that just a half mile away on Teaster Lane at West by God Coal Fired Pizza. Smoky Mountain family will tell you it's some of the best pizza in the Smokies, and I have to agree. There's the pistachio presto with sausage, honey, and mozzarella. The pizza party with Mike's hot honey. I had the gardener. Might be the best pizza I've ever had. These pepperoni rolls, the dough is incredibly delicious. They also have chicken wings and salads. And an impressive self-serve premium craft beer, IPA, cider, and ale bar. The axe throwing for a 30 minute session is $20 for adults, $15 for children 12 and under. Brittany got a bullseye here, but nobody filmed it because we were all stuffing our faces. However, Bella surprised us and beat us all. Moving north on Parkway, there's Magic Quest, where patrons use magic wands to solve puzzles as they walk through a high-tech fantasy game. There's also a pirate blacklight golf, mirror maze, and adventure arcade here. Across the street is the Christmas Place Village, where it's Christmas throughout the year. On the corner where Teaster Lane meets Parkway is the Biblical Times Dinner Theater, here are the walls of the theater come to life around you with the state-of-art projection technology transporting you back in time to ancient Israel. It's $56 for adults and $23 for children. Another half of a mile north of that is the Hollywood Wax Museum with true-to-life looking replicas of celebrities in film, television, and music. 
It is $33 for adults or $18 for children, but for just another $7 for adults and another $2 for children, you can get the All Access Pass, which includes the other three attractions here, like the 5D Castle of Chaos, Hannah's Maze of Mirrors, and Outbreak, a zombie attraction. Next to the Hollywood Wax Museum is the Country Tonight Theater with a high energy, classic country, comedy, and powerful gospel show. And another half mile north of that is Rowdy Bear's Smoky Mountain Snow Park. They do have summer tubing, but in the winter there's a lot more activities to do. And thanks to the Smoky Mountain family, I can show you what it's like in winter. There is the Ski Left Shootout Coaster, there's the avalanche snow coaster in the play area and snow tubing on a 500 foot long hill with a 70 foot drop. For a one hour wristband that includes all the activities, it's $29 or two hours for $39. Next to the snow park is Beyond the Lens, which has a fly ride adventure and over 150 interactive exhibits. Across the street is the Titanic Museum. It's $33 for adults, $15 for children, plus taxes and fees. And next to that. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do with a moonshine cocktail. You can learn some conflict resolution in your Smoky Mountain vacation as you watch the Hatfields and McCoys settle their differences. There are better ways to settle your differences while you eat grandma's home cooking. <laughs> With hillbilly acrobatics. Nice morning for swim. Some good old mountain music. Dueling banjos. Making music with some creative instruments. Again, the dancing is amazing here. There's a billy copter. And with this dinner show, the food is all you can eat. I made it extra spicy just for you. So come hungry. The fried chicken and pulled pork was really good. On the other side of Hatfields and McCoys is Wonderworks with over a hundred hands-on exhibits, plus laser tag, a ropes course, and a 4D motion ride. A mile north of Hatfield and McCoys, now in Sevierville city limits, is the Apple Barn and Cider Mill. This 1910 barn takes you back to a pigeon forge before it became a tourist mecca when it was farmlands full of apple orchards. The Applewood Farmhouse Restaurant was built out of a 1920s farmhouse. It is one of the highest rated restaurants in Pigeon Forge. Inside the barn, a gift shop. At the country kitchen, there's apple bread, apple pies, fritters, stack cakes, and other baked goods. Or pick up some famous apple butter or apple juice at the general store. There's a cider bar and winery with tastings. Watch candy being made at the candy factory. There's a candle shop. Pretty much anything that can be made with apples, it's here. I'm going to the creamery to get some, you guessed it, apple ice cream. I know Bella wants some. It's really good. On the opposite end from the farmhouse restaurant is the Applewood Farmhouse Grill with southern favorites in apple fritters and apple julep. Apple julep is a combination of apple, orange, pineapple, and lemon juice with spring fresh mint leaves. Gotta try it. Across the street, the west prong of the Little Pigeon River. Along the river, the boutique style inn at Apple Valley, a choice hotel. Also nearby, a Black Rifle Coffee. As well as great coffee, they do a lot for law enforcement and veterans. Just a half mile north of the Apple Barn is Skyland Ranch. This is a new and still growing adventure park. Provides both relaxation and fun. The Horizon Skyride takes you to the top. There's the Wild Stallion Mountain Coaster with an eight minute plus ride. The Legacy Lookout, a scenic boardwalk to an observation platform with a 360 degree view of the Smokies. 
You can see miniature horses, miniature donkeys, miniature cows, as well as goats and sheep. General admission is $22 for adults and $13 for children, 3 to 9. With the Mountain Coaster, it's $34 for adults and $23 for children. Across the street is NASCAR Speed Park with go-karts, bumper boats, amusement rides, a mini golf, and an arcade. We have Smoky Mountain Speedway out there. We're actually getting some prototypes, some new cars out there. So those are coming soon uh, where we're going to have some quick cars out there. Definitely get a lot more speed than your typical go-kart. Uh, you have your pace car that will take you around when you start. Flags out there, the spotters. So it's definitely a good time for those looking for a little more thrill on a go-kart. We have the arcade here. We actually got a lot of brand new games in. Um, some of your favorite coin pushers, uh, virtual reality, so it's a lot of fun. A wristband gives you all day access to the rides. $33 for those 48 inches and above. $27 for those 47 inches and below. With options to add in the VR for $10 or mini bowling for $25. Sevierville has a nice quaint vintage downtown. The county courthouse, which was built in 1895. In front is a statue of Dolly Parton, who has done so, so much for this region. Certainly, she is very loved around here. This downtown is worth checking out with new restaurants and shops. One of those restaurants, the 101 Sky Lounge, known as one of the best restaurants here, but it's only open on Fridays and Saturdays. One thing this area lacks is good, healthy, quick food options. But a great place to find good, quick, healthy food is at the Publix grocery store. They have many ready-to-eat foods. Having some pasta salad while waiting for an oil change I got from Publix. It's way to eat healthy when in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge to save a little money. Ran into subscribers of ours, Yvonne and Gennaro, who moved up here. How do you like the area? Oh, we beautiful. Love it. Yeah, we bikers call it. Oh, okay. yes, yes. Yeah. Say a prayer for Gennaro, currently undergoing chemotherapy. As the sun sets on Pigeon Forge, Pigeon Forge is a special place. While we need to take life seriously, we sometimes get way too serious. Pigeon Forge reminds us to laugh, to enjoy life, not to be offended at so much stuff. Hey, if the Hatfield and McCoys and the Dawsons and McGraws can unite, maybe there's hope for our personal feuds we get in. Well, we still have one more video of the Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge area to show you as we take you to the nature areas in the next video. And then after that, we visit the North Carolina side of the mountains, Bryson City and Cherokee. Well, we will eventually go on to other places. I'd encourage you to subscribe to the Smoky Mountain family who do regular videos of the area and who have been such a big help to us. We are hoping to join them in Knoxville in the fall. Also, Smokies Plus, another good channel. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA. If you would like to hire us to film your city, region, or resort, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. From Pigeon Forge, I wish blessings to you wherever you may be.